Well, let me ask you this. Why doesn't a lie detector uh, machine... Because that measures uh, uh, physiological responses like sweat. And the, the, thing, the reason why a lie detector doesn't work is because when you finish telling a lie, you're still sweating. You don't start unsweating. Whereby, when you lie on this, uh, the needle will have its reaction, and that's that's it. It, it. it contacts not you, but you, but but not you as a body, but you as a thetan. Not the conscious level, you. you so know. the way you find things out in Scientology is you get hooked up to this, you hold these two cans. I hold the cans. And somebody asks you questions. Or I would audit myself. I can do solo auditing. I mean, and that's, that's how you find out about your past lives? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get, you get reads. So from these cans and this machine, you found out about the experience you Everything. had with milk? Everything. Being poisoned by milk? What are some of the other... But I also have the mental image pictures, and I can contact those images. What are some of the other events from your various past lives that s stand out as most significant? Well, how far back do you want to go? Go back as far as you can. Just give us, give us your hit parade of the most significant... Okay, the, the most, most dramatic... significant uh, event that uh, I wrote about. In fact, that, that, I guess that would be the most significant event. You're talking about a book you wrote? I'm talking about a book that I wrote. The binder is falling out. You're not being careful with this, Mark. I told you not to be sloppy. Okay. What's the name of the book? The Holy Book of Life. And I found out who I was and... Look at what you did here. All right, look. I just have to take better care of these things. Okay. The Holy Book of Life by Malchut the Antichrist. That is the most significant event on my time track. Okay, just tell us about that event. For the moment, put the book aside and tell us what you discovered. And in fact, if you can remember, it would be very helpful if you could, could explain how it was that... I learned what, the information. What led up to Fine. it, exactly. There was an image a mental image picture, which I found, uh, I fa which the auditor found, of this, the first scene I recall to do with this incident is where I was trying to reconcile an estranged, lost relationship. I hadn't seen this family member, at that time I didn't know it was my son, I hadn't seen this family member ever. But I knew uh, where he was and I knew how to reach him because I found out uh, some of the things he was doing. And I confronted him with the fact that I was his father and the image that I had, the mental image pictures, the first mental image pictures of this was of this son of mine cursing me, beating me up, urinating on me and exposing me to all kinds of degradation. And at, we went to the beginning of the incident and we went back and forth and, and finally uh, I found out, the whole image came through very clearly, that I was Jesus Christ's real father. That uh, I was a neighbor of his mother four houses down. And his uh, mother uh, was only 13 at the time, I was 16, and she used to go out in the morning at sunrise to bathe. And, of course, there was no indoor plumbing 2,000 years ago. And, of course, I was, I had always found this girl very attractive and sensual. And, you know, one of the disadvantages of remembering your past lives is that when you find somebody in the past that means so much more to you than you have found in this lifetime, this lifetime seems very unreal. Have you ever noticed that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the point is, uh, Mary, his mother, was very, very sexy and sensual. And every morning I used to watch her bathe, hitting, hiding behind the bushes. And uh, I would get very excited and I would masturbate, you know. 
And this went on for like months, seven months or so. And of course, eventually she caught me, you know, doing this, and there was a big flap over that. But in the meantime, I made her pregnant artificially because the, the sperm, the semen, went through the bushes, through the water, about four feet away, and penetrated her. And when she found out she was pregnant, they had a doctor who examined her and to see whether she had been, uh, 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 whether she had uh, sexual intercourse, because that would have been grounds for a stoning, you know. And they found out that she was intact. Her, uh, her hymen was still there. And of course, what happened, one thing led to another, and the family decided to uh, make a big PR m a campaign out of this and blame it on God. They had this, this uh, rabbi, Zacharias, who um, uh, came up with the idea. But anyway, that is how uh, Jesus was really born. But what happened was, I never really uh, had a chance to meet him because uh, when I confronted Mary with it, before she had the baby, she denied the whole thing and she was like very adamant about it and, and never wanted to see me again. But 30 years later when I, uh, when uh, he was preaching outside of the outskirts of Jerusalem where I had moved to, I left that city, and I was, um, I was in business there. Uh, I went to see him to tell him who I really was. We even looked alike. We physically, the mock-ups, the bodies looked alike. Of Jesus? Yeah, I looked like him. I'm just an older version of him. 